Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse shoe review of the Nike Zoom Vapor 11. This update in the iconic Vapor line takes some of the speedy elements that the Vapor is known for, but elevates the stability and comfort. The full length foot frame on the lateral edge of the midsole provides added stability for aggressive cuts, while the breathable mesh upper keeps your feet cool and well supported. The Zoom Air unit under the forefoot helps to add spring into your step and the cushioning throughout the midsole gives you the comfort needed for grinding out matches. A data informed design to the outsole creates optimal grip while allowing hard court sliders to hit the brakes with confidence. First thing I noticed when I tried on this Vapor 11 is uh, definitely how it has that more built up feel. Um, I would say in the Vapor family, this is gonna be your more stability, um, a little more support and a little more weight to the shoe, which for me is actually kind of my type of Vapor. Um, going back to some of the older ones like the Vapor X, um, I tried the, last, the first version of the Vapor Pro and even some of the older models. Those shoes maybe for me are just a little too minimal, not enough cushioning. I definitely understand their uh, speedy appeal, but for me this one is just uh, a much better type of shoe. Um, I really uh, enjoyed the lateral stability from the, uh, the wall on the side here, so I felt like I could push off. Um, really could trust in the shoe that way. And I also noticed in the midsole, um, the cushioning wasn't super plush. One of my favorite shoes is the Nike uh, GP Turbo, which had some of the most plush, really bouncy midsole cushioning. So I'm always looking for that sort of feel in a replacement shoe. This one, not quite that level, but definitely more built up in the midsole compared to like um, older, lighter weight Vapor. So really like this shoe. The upper material is really breathable um, for me and also very soft. And one thing I really liked about this shoe is I didn't have any toe jamming, even though it's got some protection around here, uh, very comfortable around the toes. So I could just wear this shoe uh, all day. Um, and then when I was playing on the court, really had no issues with comfort. And I really like the added support for this type of Vapor. As a longtime fan of the Vapor line, I was really excited to try these shoes out, especially because I love the new updated look. Uh, now, the first thing I noticed was that these shoes did need a slight break in. After about three hours, then I felt like these shoes were ready to go, and I love the performance of these shoes on court. When moving side to side uh, and, and changing directions, I love the uh, molded sidewall of these shoes. I felt like it provided really great stability, and I thought the traction was nice and slick. Uh, I was able to slide out of my shots easily. I also thought the also was plenty durable. Uh, as far as uh, the comfort of the shoe goes, uh, I, I really like the cushioning of these. Now the ride height of the shoe is a little bit higher than what I would expect out of a Vapor, uh, but it still has that Zoom Air unit, so it still felt pretty responsive on court. Uh, now comparing it to previous Vapors, these definitely feel more substantial uh, than something like the Vapor 9.5 or like the Vapor X. Uh, to me, these felt it's kind of in between uh, the Vapor X Knit and the Vapor React NXT shoes uh, in terms of just being a little bit bulkier, a little bit more durable, uh, more in line with a shoe like the A6 Gel Resolution 9. Uh, but overall, I thought this was a fantastic play test for me. I love the performance of them once I got through that initial break-in period. Um, it's probably a top three um, match day shoe for me. Now, if you are someone that likes that really lightweight, classic Vapor feel, then you can, might want to check out the Vapor Pro 2. Really enjoyed being named in this new shoe review, that for the Nike Vapor 11. This kind of brings me back to some of my favorite tennis shoes that I've worn uh, for my tennis life, that being the Court Ballistics. Um, and I also really enjoy the Vapor Cage 4. But this one definitely has a glove-like fit. The toe uh, box is really similar to the old Court Ballistics. The outsole, very durable. Midsole cushioning, I kind of like midsole cushioning the way I like my mattresses, firm, not spongy. That's exactly what I get out of the shoe. I've maybe got about 30 hours of hard court time on it. And the outsole feels pretty much the same way uh, from my first step in at my office desk. Just a really predictable, stable, comfortable shoe. I would say the midsole cushioning is superior to the breathability, but I haven't had any um, any issue overheating in this shoe whatsoever. And again, it is a very durable shoe, but this one does not come with a sole warranty. Uh, Weight-wise, it's just a hair over 15. That seems to be a really competitive shoe weight these days for some other shoes that I'm testing. And this one definitely stacks up against any of them. Right off the bat, I found this new Vapor to be more of a stability riding shoe than some of the speed-oriented Vapors. So very much in the line of a vapor cage, or as Booney mentioned, going back to that court ballistic, 
felt low to the ground, locked in. Um, I really like the lateral support on this shoe. That built up wall right there they've got on the lateral side does a great job holding my foot in place when I'm making those aggressive cuts. And then I thought the traction was really good too. So a nice blend of grip and give. What I mean by that is there's enough grip to help me sprint quickly to the ball and get me to stop quickly. But there's also enough give in the outsole compound that I can pivot easily and also slide out of a shot a little bit without the shoes feeling like getting too stuck to the tennis court. So that worked really well for me. Outsole durability, I thought was excellent on this shoe, held up really, really well, even in my high wear areas. The only one area I did see as some excessive wear was to the tip of the shoe, right above my toes on the left shoe. I dragged that portion of the shoe and saw some wearing there. And that's probably the bit that's gonna fail first on the shoe for me, but I am very um, hard on my shoes out there on the court. The, uh, the fit, I'd say solid medium fit, very comfortable, a little slight break-in required, but once I got them break, broken in, I absolutely love them. And that wraps up our extensive play test of the Nike Zoom Vapor 11. For more information on these shoes or anything tennis related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.